Hey guys, this is IX Roll at IX with Rollout Reviews doing another Let's Build. This time it is Crash Beatemon Assault Tauros. Now, Assault Tauros is, of course, the synchro weapon system upgrade of Bal Tauros, and Bal Tauros was my favorite of the three basic Crash Beatemon that I had between Bal Tauros, Magnum Ifrit, and Blitz Garuda. I also really like Mach Garuda, so. All the clues are pointing towards me really, really liking this guy, but uh, let's open him up and find out. One interesting thing about the box here is that I guess this is like the Taiwanese version of this, or it was like distributed in Taiwan, because I don't know, it says not for sale outside of Taiwan here, it seems to be uh, distributed by Funbox, whatever that is, but otherwise, aside from those two things, it looks, like, identical to the Japanese packaging, so not entirely sure, but uh, there is Juby down below there. Anyway, let's get to opening this up. As I've mentioned in some of the uh, past Crash Beat'emon Let's Builds I've been doing, I have been watching the Crash Beat'emon anime, and um, I've talked about how it really does a bad job at advertising the toy line that it's based around, and a great example of that is that uh, Assault Tauros is introduced in an episode, and then, like, in the immediate next episode, Juby is injured after only using his new beat -em on like, once or twice, and then for, like, the next four Five episodes, he's out of commission, and you don't see Assault Tauros at all. Which kind of annoyed me. Like, they hyped it up as this brand new beat -em on this main character has, and then you just, like, don't see it for a, an extended period of time after that. And it's like, I've seen a lot of Japanese shows that are based around toy lines, and that generally isn't the, uh, the formula they follow for that kind of thing. It's usually... Uh, in-your-face toy advertising for weeks after it's it's released, weeks after uh, the the toy first premieres in the show. So I don't know. I just thought that was, that was strange, and like I can kind of completely understand why this toy line didn't do very well, and why Crash Beatemon didn't do as well. Uh, financially, I think, than some other beat -em on series. It, it just doesn't really advertise itself very well. Anyway, uh, let's open this up and take a quick look at the instructions. Um, once again, another thing, where did that even go? The marble flew out of the bag, and I think it went behind my backdrop here. Oh, well. It includes a marble. <laughs> I have plenty of marbles, so uh, I don't know, I'll, I'll retrieve that off camera. But anyway, um... Yeah, I, I, I mentioned this in, in one of the other Crash beat -em on Let's Builds um, as well. Uh, these, obviously, weren't in any bags or anything. Uh, they're just kind of right there, out of the box. So anyway, here we go. Here is the core of the beat -em on and I actually think this is a different color of green than Baltoros, which is sort of interesting. That's something... Um, worth noting in the show as well, uh, the upgraded beat -em on just sort of use the same exact core, like, Hito's father, like, designs these, these upgraded beat -em on for the main characters, and he just kind of designs the trigger and the barrel, and if the upgraded versions have different hold parts, which I think all of them do, they just kind of magically uh, turn into the new core. <laughs> so, I don't know, it, it's kind of a, a weird situation. Like I said, it just it just doesn't handle the uh, incorporating the toys into the narrative very well, I guess. But anyway, um, let's, uh, let's see. Kind of out of it here, but <laughs> what should I take a look at next? Here is um, some of the blue parts from the front, and actually, Baltoros doesn't have any blue in his color scheme, so for this upgrade, uh, blue is is kind of um, a, a new addition. Same thing for Justice Ifrit. It has blue in its color scheme. It seems like the Synchro Weapon System just has uh, more more blue throughout its beat -em on but anyway, here's like the horn for this guy, the, the trigger section. Uh, let's see what else. These are all like the internals for the trigger itself, I believe. Uh, here we have, oh, this is kind of a very weird and warped um, 
sprue here, I think. But anyway, uh, here is the, the main uh, loading section of the trigger. These are for the barrel. Here are the armor parts for the, the helmet and the shoulders. Uh, the hold parts, of course. And then this piece, which I think fell off of another sprue here. Yeah, I think this went right here. But this is the little synchro weapon system hook here. So anyway, there you go. There is... Uh, there's all of Baltoros's uh, things. There's the, the the spring. I don't know. I'm a little tired at the moment. If you can't tell, like I said, I'm sort of out of it. But there is the sticker sheet, and the, here are the instructions. Anything new here? Doesn't seem to be kind of green looking instructions. I do plan on building this in uh, in three parts. Usually um, I cut away and have all of the parts in front of you, but for a complete beat em on like this, especially a crash beat em on that uh, tends to have more parts than something like a battle beat em on, I think, um, I'm going to build it in segments. So I'll cut away and have all of the parts for, say, the core of the beat em on. We'll build that, then we'll cut away, we'll do the barrel and the trigger, etc., etc., until we have ourselves a complete assault Tauros. But. I guess I'll see you in a couple seconds. Maybe losing my marble in the first segment and then finding it over the course of the break was metaphorical, and it means I'll pull things together and become more coherent for the rest of this video. Or maybe it was an omen, and it means I'll start falling further and further into insanity as this video goes on. Hmm. Either way, we're going to start building about Assault Toro, so <laughs> I, uh, I think it's probably the latter, if that tells us anything. But anyway, we're going to start building Assault Toro, starting with the core. I'm going to go from the simplest construction to the most complex. So we're going to go the core, and then I think the barrel, and then the trigger. But uh, anyway, let's get started. I did do a comparison. Um over the break as well. And this is totally a different color from Baltoros. Like, this core is a completely different shade of green. So, yeah, I don't know. I guess the, uh, the anime wasn't too accurate in that respect. But again, the anime really <laughs> isn't accurate in a lot of respects. But, I mean, that said, I suppose Assault Tauros' uh, debut was pretty cool. Uh, Juby went like, full-on lock-on Stratos and was uh, shooting away marbles being like shot across a chasm while like sitting on the floor of the chasm so he's like super god mode sniper it was very very cool but then immediately he gets injured and then doesn't use Assault Tauros for a good long while so that's a shame it was cool while it lasted though but anyway same kind of thing happens with uh Mock Garuda, too. Like, Konta gets Mock Garuda, and then, I mean, immediately afterwards, he just kind of forgets about it. And, like, it, it, it's as if nothing had changed at all. Actually, I think I was supposed to. Ah, dang it. I forgot how Crash Beat'em on work. Dang it. Okay, yeah, now now I'm pretty sure the uh, the second option, descending further into insanity, is true here, because <laughs> I have to completely, like, reset this whole thing, anyway. Um, but yeah, the hold parts on this guy are much different than, uh, than Baltoros as well. <gasps> let's, uh, let's, let's forget that happened. I, uh, I broke, I broke a peg there. Whoops. Whoops. Well, it shouldn't shouldn't matter too much, right? <laughs> Cause it's pegged together all over the place. I don't know, maybe I can glue it. I think that's like the first time I've broken something in a let's build. Eh, at least it was minor. Oh well. Anyway. It's basically covered up by the helmet anyway, so yeah, it's no big deal. <laughs> it's been a long day, guys been a long day. Okay. How does this work? Actually, I think I take these and slide that in there and then 
attached to shoulders? That's interesting. What's going on here? What is happening? What is my life? What is my life right now? Okay. All right. Let's get that little bit of flash out of the way there. Anyway, um, got to do the same thing over here too, right? Okay. All right. And this is the this is the least complex part about this beat em on. <sighs> oh well. Hmm. This isn't lining up very well. Don't want to break anything else. Hmm. You know, I don't have the instructions in front of me. <laughs> it probably would have been a uh, a good idea to have those. What is going on here? Hmm. Well, the arm is on. Maybe I'll consult the instructions and make sure I have that right. I mean, that looks sort of right, but it doesn't seem like these pieces are lining up properly. I don't know. I'll consult the paperwork here in a bit, but uh, let's first attach the little uh, foot guards there and then slide on the feet. Anyway, like I was saying, and I kind of cut myself off, uh, Assault Tauros also has much different uh, hold parts there. They're much uh, narrower, I think, which should give this guy a lot more accuracy, which is very, very good. But anyway, there you go. There is Assault Tauros. He has this big horn here that you can kind of lift up and use as a uh, very effective sight, as far as I can tell. So uh, yeah, there is that guy. Just a quick dab of super glue seemed to do the trick. You wouldn't even know our little mistake happened at all. In fact, what mistake? You didn't see nothing. I also fixed the shoulder situation. Don't know what was up with that either. Anyway, let's get to building the barrel. And good news, we're actually on track because the instructions have you build the barrel next as well. So hey, hey we're doing something right. Anyway. I assume, first things first, is putting these bits together here. Hopefully, this is correct. We don't have to pull it apart and risk breaking any of these tabs again. Again? I mean, uh, breaking any of these tabs for the first time ever, because I've never done that ever in my life. Anyway, uh, from here, which I, actually, which way is up? Um, probably this way is up. The instructions are kind of folding in on themselves here. Um, but from here, this slides on like this, I believe. That should be right. I guess it's tighter than I expected it to be. Yeah, let's hope I don't need to take this apart, because I feel like that is uh, at risk of breaking if I try pulling this this part off. I don't know. They really want to keep these things together the moment you snap them on. Anyway, this goes on top here, and this squeezes on bottom. Does it matter which way this goes, actually? Um, the instructions actually have it go on this way, so... There we go. These snap on the sides like that. And there you have the majority of the barrel. Now, here comes in the uh, the gimmickry. So, let's see. How do we do this? I need to open the instructions up a little bit to get to this portion. Um, so first we attach the wheels here. There we go. Let's go there and there. And then, um, that slides on here and here, and then they peg together. 
Hopefully this is right. And then this slides on like that. Simple enough, it would seem. Uh, that <laughs> snapped on very violently. Okay, so then you do that, and uh, that is the barrel part. It actually... Mm, I don't know about this. I don't have Baltoros handy uh, at the moment, but um, this does seem a little bit shorter than the Baltoros barrel. Hmm. I don't know about that, but anyway, it has this thing where like you, you slide this, and then you can flip the thing around like that, and I guess this is like stability mode, and uh, this is uh, maneuverability mode, because it has the wheels, I don't know. Um, I'll test it out, see if this is uh, worth its uh, little flippy gimmick here, but Either way, looks sort of cool. He doesn't really do this in the show because more often than not, they fire these things like actual guns up in the air, not on a flat surface because, you know, they never really actually play any games with these things. <laughs> well, they do. That's not true. But uh, uh, very rarely are they found playing games on tables, at least. So um, he doesn't really get a whole lot out of this gimmick in the show, which is unfortunate. But it, of course, is a thing the toy can do. Nope, this barrel actually is a fair bit longer than the Baltoros one, so uh, I don't know what I was thinking there. But anyway, moving on to the final part here, the trigger grip. So, let's see how this goes. Once again, I haven't really uh, built a Crash beat -em on in a while. It's been uh, a fair little while since I built Mach Garuda, so I don't really remember how all of this works, but uh, let's try and figure this out. So... That goes together like that, and then this little hook section plugs into the other side. Goes like this, and then uh, this goes on here, I think. Right? Please? Hmm. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this is supposed to slot in here somehow, but does that even fit? Ooh, okay. Oh, yeah, there we go. It's just very, very snug. All right. So that goes in there like that. And then we set this off to the side for just a second while we take... Uh, is it this one? No, actually, I think it's the other side here. Yeah, that looks more right to the picture. And then this goes right here. And this goes on like that. Okay, now we take the spring. That goes right in there. Let's see if we can uh, do this without making the whole thing explode. Urgh. There we go. So the spring goes just like that. And then this gear attaches there, I think. Finally, this. Goes like that. Now let's make sure everything is working. <laughs> okay, that might not work um, unless I attach the top section. But I just want to make sure the gears are together properly. And I think this is why this is the most complex part. Because you got to make sure that all these teeth here are right. And that the whole thing doesn't explode <laughs> because of that spring. Jeez. I'm sorry. This is probably tedious. Just as tedious to watch as it is to do here. I just want to make sure that I don't get the gearing wrong. So. Understand. Anyway. Okay, well, I don't know. That should be right, I think. Yeah. So, 
then this little piece goes on here and that sandwiches everything together so yeah hopefully hopefully that's correct again like I just want to make sure that the teeth are lined up properly before I commit here um, but I think that should be good so hopefully that goes together there and there and there I mean this is for kids after all oh no <sighs> it misaligned as I was snapping that together pro tip don't do that in fact just generally don't try building one of these things on camera leave that thing to the professionals because <laughs> Even off-camera, that was a nightmare, uh, both to pull apart, I completely destroyed my fingernails doing that, so I had to uh, trim those over the break, but uh, putting it back together, lining it up just right, was just kind of obnoxious, um, and, you know, especially so doing that on camera even though i was extremely over cautious i still screwed up in like the worst way possible that was like the worst case scenario <laughs> oh man starting to think that that uh, marble really was an omen of some sort just kind of not the one i was expecting anyway uh from here I believe this piece goes on there like that, and this goes somewhere, I think right here. So yeah, there is that. Um, and then finally, the actual like grip part here, just two pieces. That snaps together. And... Hmm. The pegs that hold it together along this seam are very tight. But that should do it. And you have this weird, like, stock looking thing. Very interesting grip here. There we go. So you kind of hold it like this, I guess. And this kind of rests in the, the crotch of your hand here. I don't know. Anyway, there is that. So uh, let's get to um, putting the beat -em on together here. So let's uh, let's do it this way. That should just slide on there like that, and then the barrel plugs on here. And we should be good to go. If I can get this on properly. <clears throat> okay, there you go. There is Assault Tauros. I guess all that's left to do is uh, do a couple of tests off camera and then come back with my first impressions. Well, Right now, I am pretty disappointed. But maybe that's because I set my expectations too high. Maybe it's because I had a sour building experience and I'm just not in a very good mood. Or maybe it's because I just need a nap. Whatever the case, I'm probably going to need more time with this one. That said... Some of the problems I have with it almost make it seem like I've got a dud beat em on. Like, the feet seem a bit wobbly, the trigger grip seems like it was molded strangely, and the hold parts almost look like they're crooked. So even though I'm generally unimpressed, all the same, I sort of want a second one. Just to make sure. Which is insanity. So, maybe I was right. Maybe that's what the 
omen was referring to. Of course, I'll have the final verdict in the full review, but until then, that is about it, guys, and this is IX Roll at IX, signing off.